Good morning, kindergarten friends. It's Ms. Hogue with the Gulfport School District. I went to the library today. I got a book that we can read together. It's called Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? Would you like to read it with me? Let's read. Here is the front cover of our book. It tells us the title. It tells us the author and the illustrator. And it shows a picture of what my book might be about. I see two bears on my book. I wonder if I have a book about bears. Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? By Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Bill Martin wrote the book. He is called the author. He made up the story and wrote the words. Our illustrator is Eric Carl. He created the pictures. The publishing company is Henry Holt and Company. This is the company that makes the book. This is called the title page. The title page gives me information about the book. Let's go over the parts of the book. Front cover. Back cover. The spine, which holds all of our pages together. the title page, and now we can read our story. Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. Look at the baby bear in the tree. He has sharp claws, doesn't he? I bet that helps him climb. Oh, look at the red fox. He's beautiful, isn't he? He has two pointy ears. He has four legs to walk on and a bushy red tail. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. What? A squirrel that can fly? Let's see. Wow, look at this squirrel. You know, when it said he flies, I thought he might have wings. But there's no wing on a squirrel. He has flaps of skin that spread out, kind of like a parachute, and helps him glide. He also has a bushy tail and four legs. Oh, and he has some sharp little claws too. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. A mountain goat? That must be a goat that lives in the mountains. Yes, indeed. Look at the mountain goat go up the mountain. Does it have sharp claws? No, it does not. It has hooves that probably help him walk on the rocks. He has two horns. Do you see those? Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Oh, a blue heron that flies? What do you think a heron is? Well, I know animals that fly could be a bird. Let's see if the blue heron is a bird. 
It is a bird, a beautiful blue bird. He has two legs instead of four and a long beak. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. A prairie dog. A prairie dog must be an animal that digs. Let's look. Look at the prairie dog. He does not look like my dog. Not, not at all. But he does have four legs. Oh, and look at his sharp claws. I bet that helps him dig. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Ooh, a skunk. What do we know about a skunk? Oh, if you said they make a stinky smell, you're right. Skunks can be stinky. Oh, look at our skunk. He has a large white stripe that goes down his back and his tail. He has four legs. Oh, and sharp claws. Look at those claws. Striped skunk. Striped skunk. What do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Look at our deer. Our deer is running. He has four legs. Does he have sharp claws? No, he does not. He has hooves. Do you see his hooves? Oh, and look, he has two antlers. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake. Sliding by me, a rattlesnake, a scaly rattlesnake. Let's look. <gasps> look at the rattlesnake. Does he have any legs? No, a rattlesnake does not have any legs. And look at the end of his tail. What do you see? It's his rattle, right? He shakes his rattle to warn you that he's close. We don't want to be by a rattlesnake. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Screech Owl, Screech Owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Oh, look at his claws. They're sharp too. But does it have four legs? No, it does not. And he has a small beak where Blue Heron had a big beak. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? I see a red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, and my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see.
the end. Did you enjoy the story? I'm glad. Today we're going to look at two of the animals that were in our book. And we're going to compare and contrast those animals. Compare means we're going to tell how they're alike or the same. And contrast means we're going to tell how they're different or not the same. First, we'll talk about the blue heron. Before I write, I like to just talk about it. So let's talk about the blue heron. What type of animal do you see? Right, the blue heron is a bird. Tell me some things you notice about the bird. Oh, I hear all sorts of things. I hear that he has blue feathers. I also hear that he has long legs. Look at his long legs. That's because a blue heron lives near the water. So his long legs let him walk through shallow waters without getting his feathers wet. Oh yes, he also has a long beak. Someone noticed the long beak. That helps him also find little fish and insects that live in those shallow waters. Hmm. So he's a beautiful blue bird with blue feathers and long legs. He doesn't have claws. I don't see that he has any sharp claws. He has two eyes. Okay, so this is the blue heron. The other animal we're going to look at is the screech owl. Let's take a look and talk about the screech owl. Here is the screech owl. Tell me what you see. Oh, I hear all types of things. He also has feathers because it's a bird. That's right. But his feathers are what color? Yes, you're right. They're brown feathers. And he doesn't have a long beak. He has a short beak. This beak is very sharp because a screech owl eats small animals. He has two eyes as well. Oh, and he has, he has little feathered eyebrows, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Oh, and he has two feet. I heard you, you said he had two feet. But he also has very sharp um, claws or, or talons is what we call it on a bird. So he has very sharp talons that help him catch animals. He doesn't eat insects and fish. He catches animals because he eats small animals. So we have a screech owl and a blue heron. Let's describe our animals. The first animal we're going to talk about is the blue heron. I'm going to make a bubble map to describe a blue heron. You told me that the blue heron was a bird. It was a bird. What color was the blue heron? It was blue. Very good. What did we notice about the blue heron? It had feathers. Those feathers made it a bird, didn't it? Because birds have feathers. He also had a long beak. What 
what else can you tell me about the blue heron? Oh, it had long legs. Somebody remembered that it had long legs. Let's, do, let's think of one more fact that we saw about the blue heron. Oh, that's right. Miss Hogue mentioned that it lived. It lives near water. It does live near water. So I've used my bubble map to tell all about the blue heron. Now, let's talk about the screech owl. I'm going to also make a bubble map about the screech owl. What are some things you remember about the screech owl? The screech owl is also a bird. Very good. Oh, yes, he had a sharp, but a small beak. He had a sharp, small beak. Oh, yes, it also had short legs. He did not have long legs. He had short legs. What color was the screech owl? It was brown. The screech owl was brown. What else do you remember about the screech owl? The screech owl lives in wooded areas. So we'll say he lives in the woods. Awesome. Well, I think we're ready to compare and contrast our two birds. Here, I'm going to create a double bubble map to tell about the blue heron and the screech owl. The ways the birds are the same, we'll write in the middle. Let's do that first. Tell me what is the same about a blue heron and a screech owl. They are both birds. The blue heron and the screech owl are both birds. So watch what Miss Hope does. I'm going to draw the line to the blue heron. And I'm going to draw a line to the screech owl because it describes both of them. They both have feathers. They both have feathers. So that talks about both of them. They both have beaks. They both have beaks. They're both birds. And they both have beaks. Oh, yes, they also had two wings. They both have two wings. So these are ways that the blue heron and the screech owl are the same. Now, tell me something that just describes the blue heron. That's right, 
it's blue. The blue heron is a blue bird. What color is the owl? The owl is brown. The screech owl was a brown bird. The blue heron had a long beak, didn't it? But the screech owl had a short beak. You are very good at this. So these are some ways that the blue heron is different from the screech owl. Again, this is called a double bubble map. And we use it to compare and contrast two items or animals or characters. We use it to compare and contrast many different things. I hope you enjoyed our story, Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? I also hope you understand how to compare and contrast the characters that were in the story. We found some ways that the blue heron and the screech owl were the same, but we also found ways that they were different. We call that compare and contrast. Well, I hope I see you again soon, kindergarten friends. Bye!